Our final story for the evening, gentlemen, is about a 30-stone gorilla. <laughs> Scott, you've <laughs> got this one. <laughs> There is a 30-stone gorilla in Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo who has become a bit addicted to iPhones. And he's, he's watching a few too many YouTube videos, and zookeepers <laughs> want him out there being, you know, a gorilla Do selling you think tickets. this is like he watches them through the glass or something? He does. does they, 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 they people come them? and watch. Yeah. They've heard that he likes them yeah. on the Internet. So they come, they bring their phones, they hold them, and they let him watch videos, whatever he wants. And he'll point to things he likes, they think. I think he's just pointing. Anyway, <laughs> he performs for them, they perform for him. But the zookeepers wanted to be more of a gorilla, whatever that is. Yeah, to be yeah. someone who's scratching and itching and you know jumping around and you're doing all that yeah, yeah. well done <laughs> and um and they want him to, and he's he's misbehaving he's not he's not doing what he's told to do so they're, they're and now i did too and there, there's fears that the other gorillas might bully him might do, yeah they might yeah, bully there's, him but there's he, a sense that they're taking advantage of his i think what they're afraid of him is becoming too human and being yeah. unable to become to be as brutal as he needs see to i would go up there with my phone and just start playing you know scenes from king kong going, <laughs> Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a problem because yeah. they're roping off the area where people used to view him. That really special bit where you get to walk up and see him through the, the roping that off and keeping people away. So he's become the Mona Lisa. They can't get as close as they well, want. This to. is our fate, of course, when the aliens, <coughs> isn't it? They'll yeah. keep a couple of us in cages and just hold up their their. We're lucky. Their but what's survivors. That what's, that yeah. <laughs> what's that pay? That's what I want to know. But this is what's, who books that. But this is what's going to happen <laughs> as, as older comedians too. When we're ten years from now, people are going to come to see us just stare at us. Yeah. Watch us. God, yeah. that old. They look do you think, have you, have you ever seen, there's some great dog videos, and there's one I saw recently where they do, like, the, the cup trick and the dog sort of, have you seen that one, mm. taps it with its paw and then mm. it's disappointed? Yeah. I think it, it feels to me like that dog is performing for the phone. <laughs> I'm sure its faces are like, because they know, apparently dogs have learned how to do, a, like, a Pixar face right. with the eyebrows because they get rewarded for they, it. They, they, and they react to human faces, not just voices, so they can yeah. see someone going, you know. I, We're you know, moving I'm, into I'm, an era. I'm, I'm still stumped by the one where they hold the blanket up and they look up yeah, and yeah. they drop it. That, that still blows me away. I know, absolutely <laughs> extraordinary.